What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Have you guys noticed that a lot of the younger brothers that are rich, doing very well in entertainment, they all have these ladies who look like, I don't know, like action figures, something like that. Um, really extreme BBL butts, uh, large, extra large breasts, or, you know, purple hair, red hair, green hair. It's kind of just out of this world, right? And, and we know that those relationships don't last so long, but, but they do it. And you see guys who are 40, 50, 60, you get past that stage, and then you start to see them dealing with ladies that, hey, it's not about really how big their butt is. Um, it's not really how big their top is, right? You just start to notice like, oh, she's rather plain. And that's not just entertainment. That's also with successful men, period. No matter what the race is. I, I don't know any guy who is successful, a lawyer, a doctor, anything like that. And like his wife has just like an extremely large boobs, extremely large breasts, Maybe the side chick, but you just don't see it. You don't see it. And the reason why I think you don't see that is not because those guys don't like it. It's just because sometimes when a woman has a, a you know, a, a, a physicality like that, um, and I'm not saying this all the time, maybe she may feel like she doesn't need to work on other things. Just like a guy who's might be considered very good looking. And you know, you hear women complain about, well, he's good looking, but the guy just doesn't know how to talk to women. So he relies too much on the looks and it could be a lot of times women can rely too much on her looks. But when I look at Jamie Foxx and, I, and, and, and what he's went through, he's all, he almost died last year. And of course there were, we're gonna be fair, a lot of black people, both men and women who are rooting for him. He has fans in both black women and you know, black men. But there were some dissenting voices like, hey, this is what you get because you did not deal with a, with a sister, all right? Now, here's what I'm going to say. This is going to be controversial. And I do want to give credit to the, the great compliments that came from black women for Jamie Foxx. I saw them. Look at who Jamie Foxx is bigging up now. Alice Huckstep, okay? She's a Caucasian lady, as we can see. What does he say about her? Alice is a sweetie, a great girl. Jamie is doing quite well. He loves her. He's crazy about her. Like, even if you look at this photo of her next to this chick here, she looks quite regular good looking lady for a caucasian lady i mean but she's not trying to draw attention to herself very similar to savannah james someone like that and you wonder why a guy loves a woman that's like this and not like the lady who's next to her maybe who's very beautiful but you know hey she has that model look i'll tell you because the woman that looks like alice huckstep is a person that wants to be a partner more or less more or less likely to want to be a wife to be supportive, a man that a lady can get along with. This is regardless of race, in, in this case, she's white. When you come to the black community, the argument is, well, why is she isn't black? Good, I got that, I like that. I'm a brother that loves black women, and there are black women that are also like this. But I'm gonna tell you what has occurred, in my honest opinion. I think a lot of black men, what happens is, when we are young, and we are out here trying to get it. When it comes to black women, we kind of go after what we what we what what we want them to look like. That's the most important thing. Not really in consideration for how they act, right? Now then it becomes the point where you know a lot of brothers have bad experiences with the ladies that we like to look at. This is partly the issue. When we go over to other groups of ladies, whites, Dominicans, some brothers make the mistakes, but also, you, you get you get black men that also choose a lady different from a reason why you would choose a black woman. And I can tell you what, what, what that means. A black woman, if she dates, dates a black man, she can never date a black man that's a nerd like a white guy. But you can see a black woman go to a nerdy white guy and, and we're all confused. Like, yo, how is this happening? Because sometimes we're just not looking for that in the community. And then when we go out and then we get this, something that's different, it's like, oh, she's cool. And I can, I can understand it might be a lot more difficult to access it. But ultimately, all men, when they want to get married, would like a lady that isn't a attention seeker, okay? A lot of successful guys. 
That's why when you see Chris Rock, he could date any kind of chick. It's always a plain Jane white lady. Even, even the one he had was black. Why? Because these women, it's not about what the lady looks like after a certain level. Of course you want her to be beautiful. Of course you want her to be um, intelligent. But a lot of ladies these days, everything is about individuality and being loud with it. Um, excessively showing your cheeks. Uh, excessively, you know, you have tattoos, right? And I'm gonna just tell you for certain guys, guys who are professionals make a lot of money. Might be okay for some, but ladies with tattoos as a visible, for some guys, that's the end of the, that's the, that's, no, can't deal with it. Orange hair, green hair, blue hair. I'm not trying to be mad at anybody, but I will say this, for some men, that's something that is not gonna be acceptable, okay? It's it's too liberal. Nose ring, tongue ring, uh, scantily dressed, no. You want a woman that's going to make you look like you want to be respected. Blonde wigs, orange wigs, it's kind of not gonna cut it. So a lot of these ladies who are plain, no BBLs, this is of any race now, you know? And obviously within ethnic circles, you can do the box braids, you can do black wigs, things that are natural to a black woman. That's gonna be fine, all right? But a man wants a woman who is a woman who loves being a woman, a feminine woman that doesn't come with a lot of problems. And a lot of times for Jimmy Fox, it is a white thing, right? It's definitely a white thing also, but it's also a femininity and attitude thing with him. And for a lot of black men that have a lot of money, it is both or one or the other. No guy wants to bust his ass all his life and deal with anybody of any race in which you feel like that lady is a problem, okay? One thing that really you value as you get older is understanding, all right? Understanding. A woman who is understanding, a woman who is appreciative, a woman who gets it. And you can you, you can have that lady in front of 10 BBLs, super thick women, all time beautiful, top, bottom and everything. But the woman that's understandable, that's just average looking or just above average looking will win all the time, all the time. She's the kind of woman you can wake up and say, you know what? I'm gonna take care of this lady today. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I had, I had a girlfriend. I wanted to really take the lady to Dubai. Um, you know, I'm here in Africa and um, I was like, you yeah, know, let me, let me take this chick there and enjoy myself. And then I kept coming to the realization, the lady isn't worth me taking there. Like, what does she do for me to take her there? Like, I could just leave her there and go to Dubai and find somebody else better than her while I'm on the trip. Whenever a man has to feel like that about you or anyone, like that is bad. <laughs> that is not good. And, and brothers know where I'm going with this. Like, whoa, why do you even feel like that? Why does that come out your mouth? Because it's true. Like, damn, I'm not even missing anything about even if she goes. It, 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 no, it, it, it sucks. But man, I don't even give a damn if she goes. But if you have a lady that's understanding, that's good to be with, that wants to work in the relationship, whoa, I found what I'm looking for. And it would make you not even want to go out and like deal with the other chicks. It's like, well, why am I dealing with you? You don't have anything to offer me. You're a headache. This is for guys who are absolutely mature. And you know what I'm talking about. Men understand what I'm talking about. It is too hard for a lot of guys in the dating market to deal with people who don't have that much to offer and you're entitled. And then you're also hard to get along with no matter what you look like. It's just so easy to let somebody like that go. Like, why are you talking to me? And I, and I suggest instead of going back and forth with these kind of people, just like, okay, let me call you back and block them. And so I feel like this kind of plain Jane sort of lady looking like kind of in, in any race, a woman like her is gonna win. Now, that's where guys are going, right? Don't need a BBL women to win. Sorry, no, you don't. Okay. You don't need a boob job to win. Sorry, no, you don't. Need to be strategic. Put yourself in the right situations. Have the right attitude. And you will be more likely to be chosen than these people that are getting like this kind of, you know, build a bear kind of body. Because everybody is doing that. But who's working on their attitude? Who's working on their disposition? No one. Why? Because it's easy to get surgery and fix something. It's hard to fix your attitude about something, right? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Appreciate your follow. You subscribe the bell. We're out.